I absolutely love to put together budget rifle builds. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. There's just one problem. I typically start with a budget rifle like this Thompson Center Compass. It shoots awesome, but I really don't care for the cheap, plastic, flimsy stock. So the best solution is to take the barreled action out of the stock, take the stock and throw it into the garbage can. Now we have a good starting point for a build. In this video, I want to talk to you about the solution to this problem. How a 1500 barreled actions from Brownells. Brownells has worked directly with Howa to offer just what you want for a starting point for a rifle build, which is a barreled action. And right here, I have a Howa 1500 heavy barreled action from Brownells in six millimeter Creedmoor. And what I'm excited about here is A, to show you what's in the box here. But B, we're gonna do this awesome series covering six millimeter Creedmoor and the rifle build that I'm gonna use to walk you all through this journey, shooting six millimeter Creedmoor, reloading six millimeter Creedmoor, and who knows, probably even hunting with six millimeter Creedmoor. So let me walk you through what I'm gonna use for the build. I've got a Delta Striker HD 50 power optic. This comes from the F-Class world of shooting, as does my Evolution Gunworks Mystic Precision M-Pod. This, I'm gonna go a completely different direction here. This has tiny little skis on it. This is a different way of shooting and I'm really looking forward to trying that. I've got an MDT rail, an MDT set of 34 millimeter rings that are gonna go with this Delta Striker HD. And for the stock, I'm gonna use what worked really well for me with my 224 Valkyrie Remington 700 bolt action rifle build, and that is the KRG Bravo. This time I'm gonna try their enclosed fore end and some accessories as well. So, buckle up, make sure you're subscribed with notifications because we got a lot of really compelling content coming up here, and let's start it all by seeing what's in the box. The box is a little retro. It's just this cardboard lid here and a nice styrofoam carton that has the contents, which of course is comprised mostly of just the barreled action itself. There she is. Quite a bit of oil on it to prevent corrosion. We've got the uh, threaded muzzle with the uh, nice thread protector, really heavy profile to match the outer profile of the barrel with some knurling on it. I'm really liking the looks of that. Okay. Guessing, yep, that's how the bolt comes out. Looks like it's been test fired. See a little bit of brass in there. Excellent. So here's what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the KRG Bravo stock ready. We'll put the barreled action in the stock and see what it looks like as a complete rifle. It takes just a few minutes to put the rifle together. I started by getting the KRG Bravo stock out of the box. Now this is my second KRG Bravo. Like I mentioned, I've got one on my 224 Valkyrie. I set it up the same way. I added one length of pull spacer. You can actually add one, two, or three depending on the length of pull that you want. It comes with all of the extended screws, depending on the number of spacers that you add. So with the one, I just open the little bag labeled number one, put those screws in, length of pull is done. Then it was time to take the bottom metal off of the Howa 1500 barreled action. There's a couple Torx screws, just remove the bottom metal. It comes with a four round box magazine that's internal. And so I took that off as well. Then there's two action screws that come with the KRG Bravo. One is integrated and held captive where the inletting is for the recoil lug. And then there's a separate one that's in a bag for the rear action screw. So what you want to do is start by starting to tighten that front action screw and that's going to suck the action into the stock inletting. Then you install the second action screw behind the trigger guard and start to cinch that down. Here's the important part is once you get a little bit of tension on the screws, you want to set 
the barreled action in the stock by tapping it on the buttstock on your workbench. That's going to make sure that everything is seated together like the rifle will be under recoil. Then you alternate torque. Uh, the specification for this uh, specific setup is 65 inch pounds. So I used my fat wrench, alternated the torque until I got consistent clicks on both. I actually set the stock three different times at three different torque levels just to make sure that everything was going to be lined up perfect. Then I took the bolt out and then ran some patches down the bore with a six millimeter jag and some Butch's bore shine. I like to get that factory oil out of the barrel. I ran a few clean patches through and then of course it was time to get out the Lyman bore cam and look down the bore. And what I saw I liked. There's practically no tooling marks. The finish on the lands and the grooves looks really good and that is a good sign. It makes me think this rifle is gonna be a shooter. So then I took off part of the sloped buttstock. This is a configurable buttstock on the KRG Bravo chassis and that allowed me to get it level in the trigger scan because what I wanted to do was capture what the profile is for the trigger out of the box. Got it leveled in, got the trigger scan set up, and what I've seen is it says about two and a half pounds for the factory setting. Well, we found it to be slightly better at about two and a quarter pounds. And if you look at the single stage, the first stage, it's about a quarter pound. So that means we've got about two pounds on top of the first stage for the second stage, and that's kind of what the trigger feels like. It feels like about a two pound trigger. I'll have the full details for that trigger scan data in the accompanying article, so you're going to want to click on the first link in the video description. So far, this rifle has gone together super smooth. To conclude, I wanted to cover a, a little bit more of the specs. This has got a 24-inch barrel. It's got one and seven and a half inch twist rate. It's got the 5 8 by 24 threaded muzzle, so any of the 30 cal or 6.5 stuff is going to work on that as well and it's just got a standard blued finish. So I can't wait to see how this rifle is gonna shoot, and you're gonna to wanna to check out my next video in this series where we're gonna put that Delta Striker HD 50 power scope on this rifle. This is gonna really make this rifle uh, an interesting long range application rifle to shoot, and I can't wait to get some hands on time with it. So make sure that you subscribe to Gavin Tube with notifications. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want one of these Howa 1500 barreled actions, you gotta click on that first link in the video description. I'm gonna have the full details, all the deals, links to the product pages on brownells.com, which is where I got this barreled action. One more thing to mention, I'm on Patreon. There's going to be a link in the video description for that. If you want one of these cool Ultimate Reloader shirts, you can click on the link in the video description to go to the Ultimate Reloader store. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.